Coming up in less than a decade, online training software company Lessonly has served more than 4 million learners worldwide. This week, Lessonly acquired by California-based Seismic in a deal with big implications for Lessonly and the Indiana tech community. Co-founder and CEO Max Yoder is here with reaction. Fort Wayne-based startup Pond is on a mission to be the source of basic technology for nonprofits nationwide. Learn how Pond Technology helps nonprofits find and fund the tools they need to reduce their workload. And Indianapolis-based Pure Development has created the Box Factory, a new mixed-use space next to the Mass Ave Cultural District in downtown Indy. Adam Sager has details on the project. And we'll have details on those stories and much more ahead on this edition of Inside Indiana Business. Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. Since it was founded in 2012, online training software company uh, Lessonly has been a high profile tech success story in Indiana, doing business with more than 1,200 well known companies, including Scholastic, Jostens, U.S. Cellular, just to name a few. The company has been riding high last year, closing out a $15 million Series C round of funding. This week, California-based Seismic acquired Lesson Lee in a deal creating a combined company expected to be valued at about $3 billion. With more on the acquisition and what it means not only for Lesson Lee, but the Indiana tech community as well, pleased to be joined and welcome back to the show, co-founder and CEO, Max Yoder. And Max, uh, welcome and congratulations on the deal. Last time we were talking, I was in my attic, so it's good to be in an office. It's great to be back. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Ab absolutely. Well, this is a big week. I mentioned uh, you're an online uh, training uh, technology software company. Talk about this uh, combination, the acquisition by Seismic, a company based in San Diego. You've been working with them th for three years, so you know each other well. What is the deal right. uh, all about? Yeah, this is something that the market has said needs to happen. Seismic makes content, we make training, and people want to buy those from one vendor. Uh, so we've been staying really close to the company since 2018. Um, you know, Seismic just announced passing $200 million in annual revenue uh, maybe two months ago. So big business, you know, and we're not too shabby ourselves. So coming together, we're going to be able to do some really, really neat things. It, it, Max, talk about your growth in the company. Uh, Lesson Lee uh, launched, as I said, uh, just under a decade ago, uh, 2012. Talk about uh, the growth and what's really fueled uh, that traction over the last nearly 10 years. Yeah, so uh, it's been an amazing, you know, in, in July 5th, 2012 uh, is when we started. Uh, nine years later, it's just been incredible to end the decade this way as a dream come true. Um, and I think what's really made it work is uh, we've had this mission of helping people do better work. And uh, we fuel that mission by bringing on new customers and aligning our team around this mission of helping people do better work and then putting together a set of values that help us do work together in ways that we think are healthy, collaborative, productive. Uh, that's been the secret sauce. You know, we have we have tried to make sure we only grew as fast as, as, as we uh, grew without jeopardizing our culture and our capital efficiency. So those are kind of two things that keep us in check. We're not going to grow so fast that it diminishes our culture or our capital efficiency. And that's been a big deal to us. Help us out in a big way. Hey, Max, talk about, in your opinion, what this deal means for the Indiana tech community, because I think it has uh, implications, impact beyond Lesson Lee uh, to, the, to the broader Indiana tech movement. Yeah, this is so cool because this was a big deal, and our teammates have shares in Lesson Lee. Every teammate gets shares in Lesson Lee. So this is changing people's lives, right? And this is going to plant some seeds that we're going to see grow one year from now, two years from now, three years from now, a decade from now. I don't know what they're going to be, but I'm really excited to see just how much this is going to change our community. Uh, Seismic's going public. They're going to, not, not imminently, but, you know, let's say the next one, two, three years, they've got their eyes on a public offering. And they're going to take us with them, right? We're one team now. So that's going to be a neat thing to bring to this city because they're going to be making heavy investments in Indianapolis. We were already going to hire a lot of people in Indianapolis. We're going to hire a lot more now. Uh, so that's going to be cool. And, you know, we had a bunch of coastal... Uh, venture firms that had invested in Lessonly, they did well in this deal, they'll be back, you know, so that's, there's, there's going to be a lot of different ripple effects uh, that I can't wait to watch. 
Yeah, yeah, and you mentioned the Coastal VC. Does this send a signal in a lot of ways? And there have been other developments too, but this, uh, your deal, what you've grown here and now been able to, uh, uh, to make happen with Seismic, uh, others, uh, when you talk about venture capital coming into Indiana, will help that process. Yeah, they, I mean, the signal's been sent. They want to be here. You know, what we need to be doing is building uh, companies that have missions that are growing capital efficiently, uh, that are willing to take a little bit of money to grow a little bit faster. You know, everybody's got their own kind of tempo for how they run their businesses. We couldn't have done this without the venture community, and they're sold on this place, right? We just got to be building the companies they can come invest in. Yeah, I, th I think one other element that's interesting to me, at least, is there's a whole talent attraction and the seeds of talent attraction that have been planted here over the last number of years, the Orr Fellowship uh, Program, which uh, connects right. uh, 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 young folks with opportunities here. You were part of that uh, Orr Fellowship, right? I was. I worked for Chris Baggett right out of college. What a great guy to work for. You know, exact target co-founder now runs Cluster Truck. That was my boss out of college. And you know, what he told me to do is save save money, you can control your own destiny, you know, get your student loans paid off, uh, and then start stacking away money so that you can do what you want. And that helped me build this company. Uh, so like, I can't, I can't thank the Or Fellowship enough, can't thank Chris enough among many, many people in this city. Do you think, uh, Max, as we wrap up here, that uh, you know there seems to be a lot of momentum here in Indianapolis and statewide in the tech movement, that this really is another example of that, that momentum, that flywheel beginning to uh, turn a bit faster? Oh, no doubt, no doubt. This is gonna be so cool. I mean, ideally what we've done here at Lesson Lee is um, build something to this point using a certain set of principles, and the people who are on this team you know, have seen those principles who wanna go do it themselves, you know, we'll be supportive of that in a big way. And ideally, we've laid some sort of a blueprint to help them do that. Max Yoder, the co-founder, the CEO of Lesson Lee, a big acquisition uh, this week by Seismic. Uh, Max, thanks for joining us. We look forward to continuing to follow your story in the months and years ahead. As always, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure.